ANSI escape sequences are a standard for in-band signaling to control the cursor location, color, and other options on video text terminals. Certain sequences of bytes, most starting with ESC and, are embedded into the text, which the terminal looks for and interprets as commands, not as character codes. ANSI sequences were introduced in the 1970s to replace vendor-specific sequences and became widespread in the computer equipment market by the early 1980s. They were used in development, scientific and commercial applications and later by the nascent bulletin board systems to offer improved displays compared to earlier systems lacking cursor movement, a primary reason they became a standard adopted by all manufacturers. Although hardware text terminals have become increasingly rare in the 21st century, the relevance of the ANSI standard persists because most terminal emulators interpret at least some of the ANSI escape sequences in output text. One notable exception was the Win32 console of Microsoft Windows before Windows 10 version 1511, codenamed Threshold 2. History Almost all manufacturers of video terminals added vendor-specific escape sequences to perform operations such as placing the cursor at arbitrary positions on the screen. One example is the VT52 terminal, which allowed the cursor to be placed at an X, Y location on the screen by sending the ESC character, a Y character, and then two characters representing with numerical values equal to the X, Y location plus 32 thus starting at the ASCII space character and avoiding the control characters. As these sequences were different for different terminals, elaborate libraries such as TermCap and utilities such as TPUT had to be created so programs could use the same API to work with any terminal. In addition many of these terminals required sending numbers such as row and column as the binary values of the characters, for some programming languages, and for systems that did not use ASCII internally, it was often difficult or impossible to turn a number into the correct character. The ANSI standard attempted to address these problems by making a command set that all terminals would use and requiring all numeric information to be transmitted as ASCII numbers. The first standard in the series was ECMA 48, adopted in 1976. It was a continuation of a series of character coding standards, the first one being ECMA 6 from 1965, a 7-bit standard from which ISO 646 originates. The name ANSI escape sequence", dates from 1979 when ANSI adopted ANSI X3.64, the ANSI X3L2 committee collaborated with the ECMA committee TC1 to produce nearly identical standards. These two standards were merged into an international standard, ISO 6429. In 1994, ANSI withdrew its standard in favor of the international standard. The first popular video terminal to support these sequences was the Digital VT100, introduced in 1978. This model was very successful in the market, which sparked a variety of VT100 clones, among the earliest and most popular of which was the much more affordable Zenith Z19 in 1979. Others included the QM QVT108, Televideo TVI970, WISE WY99GT as well as optional. VT100", or VT103", or ANSI", modes with varying degrees of compatibility on many other brands. The popularity of these gradually led to more and more software especially bulletin board systems and other online services assuming the escape sequences worked, leading to almost all new terminals and emulator programs supporting them. In 1981, ANSI X3.64 was adopted for use in the U.S. government by FIPS Publication 86. Later, the U.S. government stopped duplicating industry standards, so FIPS Pub. 86 was withdrawn. ECMA 48 has been updated several times and is currently at its fifth edition, from 1991. It is also adopted by ISO and IEC as standard ISO, IEC 6429. Topic. Platform support Unix-like systems Although TermCap, Terminfo-style libraries were primarily developed on and for Unix, since about 1984 programs running on Unix-like operating systems could almost always assume they were using a terminal or emulator that supported ANSI sequences, this led to widespread use of ANSI by programs running on those platforms. 
For instance, many games and shell scripts see below for colored prompt examples, and utilities such as color directory listings, directly write the ANSI sequences and thus cannot be used on a terminal that does not interpret them. Many programs, including text editors such as V and New Emacs, still use TermCap or TermInfo, or use libraries such as Curses that use TermCap or TermInfo, and thus in theory support non-ANSI terminals, but this is so rarely tested nowadays that they are unlikely to work with those terminals. Terminal emulators for communicating with local programs as well as remote machines and the text system console almost always support ANSI escape codes. DOS MS-DOS 1.x did not support the ANSI or any other escape sequences. Only a few control characters Bell, CR, LF, BS were interpreted by the underlying BIOS, making it almost impossible to do any kind of full-screen application. Any display effects had to be done with BIOS calls, which were notoriously slow, or by directly manipulating the IBM PC hardware. DOS 2.0 introduced the ability to add a device driver for the ANSI escape sequences, the de facto standard being ANSI, SYS, but others like ANSI, COM, NANSI, SYS and ANSIPLUS, X are used as well these are considerably faster as they bypass the BIOS. Slowness and the fact that it was not installed by default made software rarely take advantage of it, instead, applications continued to directly manipulate the hardware to get the text display needed. ANSI, SYS and similar drivers continued to work in Windows 9X up to Windows ME, and in NT-derived systems for 16-bit legacy programs executing under the NT-VDM. PTS DOS as well as Concurrent DOS, Multi-User DOS and Real32 have built-in support for ANSI ECAPE sequences plus a number of extensions and do not require a separate ANSI driver to be loaded. OS2. The ANSI command in a batch file or at the command line enables the extensions. Atari Street The Atari Street used the command system adapted from the VT-52 with some expansions for color support, rather than supporting ANSI escape codes. Amigaus Amigaus not only interprets ANSI code sequences for text output to the screen, the Amigaus printer driver also interprets them with extensions proprietary to Amigaus and translates them into the codes required for the particular printer that is actually attached. Topic: <laughs> Windows. The Win32 console did not support ANSI escape sequences at all. Some replacements or additions for the console window such as JP Software's TCC, formerly 4NT, Michael J. Mefford's ANSI, COM, Jason Hood's ANSICON, and Maximus V's Konamu interpreted ANSI escape sequences printed by programs. A Python package internally interpreted ANSI escape sequences in text being printed, translating them to calls to manipulate the color and cursor position, to make it easier to port Python code using ANSI to Windows. In 2016 with Windows 10, Threshold 2, Microsoft unexpectedly started supporting ANSI escape sequences in the console app, making the porting of software from or remote access to Unix much easier. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Escape sequences. Sequences have different lengths. All sequences start with ESC 27, hex hexadecimal 1B, octal 033, followed by a second byte in the range hexadecimal 40 hexadecimal 5F ASCII at A-Z The standard says that in 8-bit environments these two byte sequences can be merged into single C1 control code in the hexadecimal 80 hexadecimal 9F range. However on modern devices those codes are often used for other purposes, such as parts of UTF-8 or for CP1252 characters, so only the 2-byte sequence is used. Other CO codes besides ESC, commonly BEL, BS, CR, LF, FF, TAB, VT, SO, and SI, produce similar or identical effects to some control sequences when output. 
Pressing special keys on the keyboard, as well as outputting many X term CSI, DCS, or OSC sequences, often produces a CSI, DCS, or OSC sequence, sent from the terminal to the computer as though the user typed it. Topic CSI sequences The ESC is followed by any number including none of parameter bytes in the range hexadecimal 30 hexadecimal 3f ASCII 0 to 9 then by any number of intermediate bytes in the range hexadecimal 20 hexadecimal 2f ASCII space and hash dollar percent and asterisk plus then finally by a single final byte in the range hexadecimal 40 hexadecimal 7e ASCII at a z caret underscore back quote a to z tilde all common sequences just use the parameters as a series of semicolon separated numbers such as 1, 2, 3. Missing numbers are treated as 0, 1, 3 acts like the middle number is 0, and no parameters at all in ESC M acts like a zero reset code. Some sequences such as CUU treat 0 as 1 in order to make missing parameters useful. Bytes other than digits and semicolon seem to not be used. A subset of arrangements was declared private so that terminal manufacturers could insert their own sequences without conflicting with the standard. Sequences containing the parameter bytes or the final bytes hexadecimal 70 hexadecimal 7e pz tilde are private. The behavior of the terminal is undefined in the case where a CSI sequence contains any character outside of the range hexadecimal 20 hexadecimal 7e. These illegal characters are either CO control characters, the range 0 hexadecimal 1F, DEL hexadecimal 7F, or bytes with the high bit set. Possible responses are to ignore the byte, to process it immediately, and furthermore whether to continue with the CSI sequence, to abort it immediately, or to ignore the rest of it. Topic SGR, select graphic rendition, parameters SGR sets display attributes. Several attributes can be set in the same sequence, separated by semicolons. Each display attribute remains in effect until a following occurrence of SGR resets it. If no codes are given, CSIM is treated as CSI 0 m reset, normal. In ECMA 48 SGR is called «select graphic rendition». In Linux manual pages the term «set graphics rendition» is used. Topic colors Topic 3 quarters bit The original specification only had 8 colors, and just gave them names. The SGR parameters 30–37 selected the foreground color, while 40–47 selected the background. Quite a few terminals implemented bold SGR code 1 as a brighter color rather than a different font, thus providing 8 additional foreground colors. Usually you could not get these as background colors, though sometimes inverse video SGR code 7 would allow that. Examples, to get black letters on white background use ESC 30, 47 meters, to get red use ESC 31 meters, to get bright red use ESC 1, 31 meters. To reset colors to their defaults, use ESC 39, 49 meters not supported on some terminals, or reset all attributes with ESC 0 meters. Later terminals added the ability to directly specify the bright colors with 90 to 97 and 100 to 107. When hardware started using 8-bit DAX, several pieces of software assigned 24-bit color numbers to these names. The chart below shows values sent to the DAC for some common hardware and software. Topic 8-bit as 256 color lookup tables became common on graphic cards, escape sequences were added to select from a predefined set of 256 colors, ESC 38, 5, M select foreground color ESC 48, 5, M select background color 0 to 7, standard colors as in ESC 30 to 37 meters 8 to 15, high intensity colors as in ESC 90 to 97 meters 16 minus 231 to 6 times 6 times 6 cube 216 colors 16 plus 36 times r plus 6 times g plus b 0 r g b 5 232 to 255 grayscale from black to white in 24 steps the itu's t.416 information technology open document architecture oda an interchange format character content architectures uses as separator characters instead esc 38 to 5 m select foreground color esc 48 
8 to 5 M select background color topic 24 bit as true color graphic cards with 16 to 24 bits of color became common Xterm KDE's console as well as all libve based terminals including GNOME terminal support 24 bit foreground and background color setting ESC 38 2 M select RGB foreground color ESC 48 2 M select RGB background color the ITU's T.416 Information Technology, Open Document Architecture and Interchange Format, Character Content Architectures which was adopted as ISO, IEC International Standard 8613-6 gives an alternative version that seems to be less supported, ESC 382-CIELUV, 1 equals CIELAB greater than, M select RGB foreground color ESC 482-CIELUV, 1 equals CIELAB greater than, M select RGB background color note that this uses the otherwise reserved, character to separate the sub-options which may have been a source of confusion for real-world implementations. It also documents using 3 as the second parameter to specify colors using a cyan magenta yellow scheme and 4 for a cyan magenta yellow black one, the latter using the position marked as unused in the above examples for the black component. Also note that many implementation that recognize, as the separator erroneously forget about the color space identifier parameter and hence shift the position of the remaining ones. Topic examples CSI2J, this clears the screen and, on some devices, locates the cursor to the Y, X position 1, 1 upper left corner. CSI32 meters, this makes text green. The green may be a dark, dull green, so you may wish to enable bold with the sequence CSI 1 meter which would make it bright green, or combined as CSI 32, 1 meter. Some implementations use the bold state to make the character bright. CSI 0, 6 8, DIR, 13P, this reassigns the key F10 to send to the keyboard buffer the string DIR and enter, which in the DOS command line would display the contents of the current directory, MS DOS ANSI. SYS only. This was sometimes used for ANSI bombs. This is a private use code as indicated by the letter P, using a non-standard extension to include a string valued parameter. Following the letter of the standard would consider the sequence to end at the letter DCSIS, this saves the cursor position. Using the sequence CSI you will restore it to the position. Say the current cursor position is 7 y and 10 x. The sequence CSIS will save those two numbers. Now you can move to a different cursor position, such as 20 y and 3 x, using the sequence CSI 20, 3 h or CSI 20, 3 f. Now if you use the sequence CSI U the cursor position will return to 7 y and 10 x. Some terminals require the DEC sequences ESC7, ESC8 instead which is more widely supported. Topic example of use in shell scripting ANSI escape codes are often used in Unix and Unix-like terminals to provide syntax highlighting. For example, on compatible terminals, the following list command color codes file and directory names by type, ls, color users can employ escape codes in their scripts by including them as part of standard output or standard error. For example, the following new sed command embellishes the output of the make command by displaying lines containing words starting with worn in reverse video and words starting with air in bright yellow on a dark red background letter case is ignored. The representations of the codes are highlighted, make 2 greater than and 1, sede s, asterisk b worn, asterisk, x1 b 7 meters and x1 b 0 meters, i e s, asterisk bear, asterisk, x1 b 93, 41 meters and x1 b 0 meters, i. The following bash function flashes the terminal by alternately sending reverse and normal video mode codes until the user presses a key, flasher while true, do print e, 5h, sleep 0.1, Print E, 5L, read SN1T1 and in break, done. This can be used to alert a programmer when a lengthy command terminates, such as with make, flasher, print 033C. This will reset the console, similar to the command reset on modern Linux systems, however, it should work even on older Linux systems and on other non -Linux Unix variants. Topic invalid and ambiguous sequences in use The Linux console uses OSCPN RRGGBB to change the palette, which, if hard-coded into an application, may hang other terminals. However, a pending street will be ignored by Linux and form a proper, ignorable sequence for other terminals. On the Linux console, certain function keys generate sequences of the form CSI char. 
The CSI sequence should terminate on the old versions of Terminator generate SS31, modifiers char when F1 F4 are pressed with modifiers. The faulty behavior was copied from GNOME Terminal, X term replies CSI row, column R if asked for cursor position and CSI 1, modifiers R if the F3 key is pressed with modifiers, which collide in the case of row equals equals 1. This can be avoided by using the private modifier, which will be reflected in the response. Many terminals prepend ESC to any character that is typed with the Alt key down. This creates ambiguity for uppercase letters and symbols at caret underscore, which would form C1 codes. Console generates SS3 modifiers char when F1 F4 are pressed with modifiers. Topic see also ANSI Art Control Character Advanced Video Attribute Terminal Assembler and Recreator Avatar ISO, IEC JTC1, SC2 CO and C1 Control Codes Topic Notes Topic References Topic External links Standard ECMA 48, Control Functions for Coded Character Sets, 5th edition, June 1991, European Computer Manufacturers Association, Geneva 1991 also published by ISO and IEC as Standard ISO, IEC C 6429 VT100.net DEC documents ANSI. SYS, ANSI Terminal Emulation Escape Sequences at the Wayback Machine, archived the 6th of February 2006. Xterm Escape Sequences. Xterm Escape Sequences. A collection of escape sequences for terminals that are vaguely compliant with ECMA 48 and friends. ANSI Escape Sequences. ITU T Rec. T. 416-03-93 Information Technology, Open Document Architecture and Interchange Format, Character Content Architectures